Hello everybody, Seth Barron here, um, and as promised, here's a video on my hush puppies. Now, I know that there's a lot of different recipes out there, and people have their own ways of doing them, um, but this is my way, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and for all you Saints fans, <laughs> I wore my gear today. Hey, go Saints! Who that? <laughs> um, I did make a video previously to this where I showed you all the ingredients i ran down the ingredient list i showed you how to put them all put it all together kind of had a little mishap it happens sometimes so i have to do another video this is my second video of it but it's going to be of the batter already mixed okay so let's get started and i will have the ingredients posted on top of the video so you can just run down the ingredients you just add them all together okay put them all in no certain order just as long as you get them all in there and get them nice and mixed up really good, okay? So what we have here is, this is the, the finished batter here. This is what it looks like. Um, very Not very moist, but not very dry neither, okay? So that's what we have. I wish you guys can really see this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the stove right here. I've got my pan right there. Grease is already heated up, but I turned it off so it wouldn't burn on me. So we're going to turn the fire back on and get it going. Okay. Now you guys can use a teaspoon or whatever you want, a tablespoon, to dip them out and drop them in there. But I like using this little um, melon scoop thing here. <laughs> so what I do is I just like to get a nice little uh, scoop, just like so, and drop it right on in the fire, right on in the grease there. Okay, and they don't take very long to cook these guys. And again, I'm sorry for the the camera. I've only got one hand and nobody's home right now. So I'm having to work everything with one hand. But you just want level scoops like this. Okay, and you're just going to drop them right on in there. Okay, we'll do a few of them just to get started. Just to show you what they look like. All right, so we'll drop those in there. And like I said, they'll they'll take a few minutes to cook. You just want to get them nice and golden brown, and you know, on all sides, make sure the batter is completely cooked. And okay, so that's where we're at now. I'm going to put you on pause and let these cook, and I'll show you when what they look like when they come out. Okay, guys. So here we go. Here's our hush puppies. They've been cooking for about three minutes, three and a half minutes. See that? Look at that. Nice dark golden brown color to them just love them oh crispy on the outside moist on the inside okay so we're going to take them out and we're going to let these cool for a minute i'm going to do them i'm going to turn my fire off for a second and i'm going to move my pan off here because i got i want to show you guys something here okay now my wife likes to be surprised um and i like to surprise her sometimes so with this batch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something else that's going to give it just a little bit more texture and a whole lot more flavor. And what some of you guys might already do, but if not, you ought to try this. This is great. So what I've got is my mix right here. Okay. Let me grab my spoon or my fork. I'm sorry. And then right here in this cup, folks, is I've diced up some shrimp. Okay. Okay. And I've sauteed it in butter, garlic powder, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, and just a little bit of cayenne pepper, okay? And look, we're going to put that right on in there. Right on in there, and we're going to give it a nice stir, okay? You can do shrimp, crawfish, whatever you want. You can even do some alligator if you want. Just make sure that you, you get it sauteed and cooked up a little bit before you, you put it in your puppy mix here. Okay, so we're going to try a couple of these with the, with the shrimp. And again, I apologize for the camera. Like I said, I'm only I'm doing this with one hand. So we'll turn our fire back on. Turn it down about medium. Get our pot back on there like so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a nice little scoop of this with the shrimp in it. See that? And we're going to drop it right on in there. These are shrimp puppies is what i like to call them <laughs> just adds a little bit more kick to it you know what i mean so we'll do a couple of these guys here and like i said they don't take very long i'll you know just three three minutes three four minutes depending on 
your stove or your your grease um, I like to use vegetable oil in my cooking because I I've learned that if I use canola oil it has a tendency to burn really quick so I don't really use the canola oil so vegetable oil or peanut oil whatever whatever you prefer so we got a few of those in there now so let's let them get to cooking really good and uh, I'll show you what they look like so let's give me about three minutes and I'll cook these up for you and I'll show you what they look like all right guys here we go hush puppies are done turn our fire off and let's get these guys out of here look at that nice nice golden brown hey okay, we'll keep these kind of separated so we know which one is the shrimp and which one is the regular okay just grab these guys out put them off to the side Oh, they look great. They look, oh, and I wish you guys could smell them. They smell really good, too. Okay, let's get these last two fellers out of here. And there you have it, guys. These are some of the best hush puppies. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's put that over here. And what I'll do is you can cut into one of these guys. Like I said, I've only got one hand, so excuse me. And look at that. Just absolutely great. You see that shrimp in there? Oh, man, they're absolutely wonderful. So, there's your hush puppies, folks. Nice, deep, dark, golden brown. Crunchy on the outside. Nice and moist on the inside. Just scrumptious. Really good if you dip them in some tartar sauce. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Sorry about the mess up. Um, I'll try not to let that happen again. <laughs> But like I said, I was here by myself, so things happen as it always does. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Happy cooking. Have a great day. Bye now.